When you update Repetrel, the firmware inside your controllers need to be updated. In this tutorial, we will walk you through how to update the 407 motion controller. Please note the hotbed and head controllers need to be updated as well. Links to those video tutorials are contained in the description below. In order to update the firmware, you will need to perform the following steps. To begin, open Repetrel. When it loads, check the version of your 407 motion controller in the bottom left hand corner of the 3D View tab. This version is 2.301. If this is the current version, you're up to date and do not need to continue this tutorial. If this is not the correct version, use your 2.5mm Allen wrench included in your printer toolkit and remove all screws holding the rear spine cover. It is best to first loosen all screws using the short end of the Allen wrench. Then use the longer end of the Allen wrench to remove them. Save the screws and cover for replacement after updating the 407 motion controller. The 407 motion controller is located near the bottom of the spine. If your 407 motion controller does not have a USB plugged into the top of it, please install the USB-A to USB mini cable into the side of the high rail machine and the 407 motion controller. When your 407 motion controller has a USB cable plugged into the top of it, flip the boot config switch from flash to system. Then press the small white reset button. Back in Repetrel, go to File, Update Firmware, and select 407 motion controller. The 407 motion controller firmware update window will pop up. Wait for the computer to load the drivers and display connected under the program button. Click on the select file button. Select the DFU file with their appropriate firmware version. Click on the open button. Then click on the program button. This process takes about 30 seconds to load the new firmware into the 407 motion controller. When the programming is complete, close this window. Set the 407 motion controller back to flash from system and press the small white reset button. If your 407 motion controller had a USB cable hooked into it, leave it installed. If your 407 motion controller did not already have the USB cable hooked into it, unplug it from the 407 motion controller and from the side of your high rel machine. In Repetrel, click on Motor Functions, then Unlock Motors. Manually move the yoke completely forward to remove any slack in the top flat flex cable. Finally, replace the rear spine cover with the screws and Allen wrench.
Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, please contact us.